Hi folks, it's Dave here from the iReady podcast, giving you my post-match reaction to the match which has just finished in Geneva, where we have drawn 1-1 and progressed on aggregate through to the next round of the Champions League. Yes, a 1-1 draw away against Servette. It was a tough slog in the first half, guys, but thankfully in the second half, a much improved performance. Now, the team that Michael Beale put out was probably the strongest 11, certainly for what everyone's reaction that I saw on social media beforehand. Butland and goals, a back four, a Tavernier, Goldson, Suter and Barisic. A midfield three of Sifuentes, Jack and Raskin with Cantwell, and Danilo and Sima up front for Rangers. Wasn't quite sure if Cantwell was going to be playing more of a winger or through the middle with Sima possibly having a free role, but certainly on paper, one of the strongest teams at the moment going on for him. And some of the other players uh, who haven't hit any heights as yet, hopefully that will come soon. But on the bench for Rangers, Hadji, Dessers, Lammers, Dewell, Sterling, Wright, Balligan, McCrory, Wright, King, Devine and Lyle. Now, Rangers actually started off very, very well in the first few minutes. In the third minute, it was a corner to Rangers on the right-hand side. The ball wasn't cleared by the Servette defender. It falls to Sifuentes, who had a great chance at the back post. He was out a bit, given that. He goes to, to try and hit it on the half volley with his left foot but sclaffs the ball, it ends up in a bit of a goal mouth scramble, unfortunately it gets cleared for us, and then in the fifth minute, Borna Barisic, he skips past two men, gets it into the box, great chance, he lays the ball back to Todd Cantwell, who instead of going for the first time shot, I'm not actually quite sure what he was trying, he tried a flick, didn't come off, and they were able to clear it, so that was a, you know, a great chance for us, but we couldn't rest on our laurels because Servet broke straight up on the seventh minute through the middle, one-on-one. -on -one. Goldson couldn't keep up with the attacker. It was going to be a certain goal, but for an absolutely sensational save by Jack Butland, low, you know, fantastic, keeping us in the game at that stage. That's the reason that the man was brought in to do things like that. And then after that, for the next sort of, you know, 15 minutes, a bit of a stalemate, sort of feeling each other out, but Servet coming back into the game, starting to take control in the midfield and the forward areas, and they did score on the 22nd minute. It was a long ball out to a free man on the left-hand side of the box. He cuts in and hits a fantastic shot right into the corner past Butland. There's nothing he could have done about that. It was an excellent goal, but you have to say Rangers on the right-hand side of defence really making it easy for them. Big gaps there and quite worrying. And then an incredible chance for an equaliser. Just nine minutes later, Rangers broke up the field. It was Todd Cantwell gets the ball in his own half. Keeps running, keeps running, keeps running. Gaza style gets the ball out to Jose Cifuentes. And then he puts in a fantastic cross into the box. Sima goes in in the middle to try and get it misses him, it falls perfectly for Danilo at the back post, open goal, I jumped up celebrating thinking we'd scored, but he missed, an incredible miss from Danilo, I don't know what happened, did it take a, a bobble at the end, I don't know, but he will look back on that and have absolute nightmares, because that was a great chance for us to get back to it being 1-1, unfortunately it wasn't to be, and then Servet in the 38th minute, they break up field again, one-on-one -on, -one on the left-hand side, and another fantastic save by Butland, not quite as spectacular as his first, but still very important to keep Rangers in the game, so that saw out the first half, Servet really on top for the last 20 minutes of the first half, Rangers not doing, doing much at all, we needed a change, needed a change of style, we just really needed Rangers to up their game, thankfully into the second half, that did happen. On the 46th minute, just a minute into the second half, an early chance, Todd Cantwell into the box, he hits a shot, it rebounds to Simmer, he flicks it back up to Todd Cantwell, tries to get a header on it, but not powerful enough, straight into the goalkeeper's arms, unlucky there. And then this is when Rangers start to pile on pressure. Raskin, who was superb in the second half, he picks up the ball, runs at the defence. He's got some space, hits a rasping shot. Goalkeeper palms it over 
the bar and then on the 51st minute we get that all important goal and it was perfect timing because we were well on top at that stage and it was as we've seen before in European games the option to go out to the left hand side and in a combination of Barisic with a long ball to the back post and who's making the late run into the back post to put the header away the captain James Tavernier doing what he does best I've said it time and time again, we should be doing more of this. He's unplayable when we do things like this. He's fantastic at getting in there on the late runs into the box. It was a great header past the goalkeeper. That put Rangers back in the driving seat at 1-1 and it really blew the wind out of the sails of Servet. It really did. So Rangers well in control after that. Like I said, Nicholas Raskin, superb in midfield today for Rangers. The energy that boy had was unbelievable. Winning everything driving forward it was superb as was Todd Cantwell the two of them the combination of them in midfield absolutely brilliant and then a double sub for Rangers the front two Danilo and Simmer really really quiet in this match and it was just kind of like for like really Lammers and Dessers on another two who have not set the heather on fire we were hoping that was going to change tonight and then on the 73rd minute, a great ball into the box from Raskin on the left wing, straight to Dessers, right in front of goal. All he had to do was keep the ball down, but he jumped up to head it, hits his shoulder, hits his head, goes over the bar. A guilt edge chance there for Rangers to really put the game to bed. It wasn't to be. And then 79th minute, another fantastic chance. Dessers and Cantwell with a 1-2 in the box. Dessers close range, hits a shot. It comes back off the post, and back again to Cantwell, he goes to try and shoot again, but it slices it and it's cleared away for another corner, 85th minute, Cifuentes off, fantastic game for Cifuentes as well, really impressed with him in the last two matches, I thought he was excellent, again, full of energy, composure, calm at all times, never gave the ball away, looks looks like a real player for us, he's got to get bet, better and better for us, so far in my opinion the best player that uh, Michael Beals brought in this year, uh, or this summer I should say, uh, and then after that Rangers really running the clock down, Servette had a few long range shots, hit at Jack Butland, but nothing that he couldn't deal with, Another uh, change late on in injury time. Seven minutes of injury time, I'd like to add. Cantwell off, double on, and then Rangers saw the game out. Like I said, 3-2 on aggregate. We are through. We will play a huge game next week against PSV Eindhoven. They look really impressive. This is going to be a real tough one for us. We really need to sharpen up up front, I've got to say. We really need to sharpen up on the right-hand side of defence. I know that Goldson hasn't had any pre-season. He's just come, coming back to full fitness, I think. So we really need to get tightened up there. But I have to say the positives for tonight. Jack Butland, superb. Jose Cifuentes, superb in midfield. Todd Cantwell, it's just it's becoming the norm for him. You know, a fantastic out ball for Rangers. He looks sometimes to be in a completely different planet from any of the rest of the players with some of the stuff that he is trying to pull off but my man of the match I've got to say Nicholas Raskin especially in the second half absolutely outstanding performance by him and you've got to say the way we played in the second half deserved to go through so delighted for the result tonight delighted that it's apparently going to pocket the club about five million pounds for us to get through to this but next week is going to be a whole new kettle of fish, a difficult match. But we will worry about that when that comes. I'm just delighted that we are in the position to be playing that game anyway. So, I'll leave you with that, guys. Much better performance tonight. Really pleased how everything has went. Derek and I will be recording, I believe, tomorrow, the main pod, to get the, the Livingston game and the game tonight spoken about in more depth so we will be back soon enjoy the rest of your night folks signing off this is dave goodbye